Once we have done our foundation, foundation bed and the foundation wall, we need to put some concrete, some sorry, some hardico in that foundation. So that is in substructure works. And guys, today we want to look at how we are going to take off the quantities of hardico in that substructure work. So welcome back again to my YouTube channel. My name is Christine. If you are new here, we know you know how we do it. Kindly subscribe, share, and don't forget to leave a comment. Now we want us to look at the plan that we have. So that is our plan. This is our plan here. And then we've been given the section AA. So we want to look at this is our plan here and this is our section. So we want to look at the quantities of hardico that we are going to need for this for these substructure works. Now we can maybe study the substructure section. We have the foundation concrete here. We have the wall. And then we have ground level. Remember, we need to calculate the depth of reduced level for us to get to the bottom of the bottom of the hardico. We've done that in several videos. Now, once we are at the bottom of the hardico bed here, we need to get this quantity of the of the hardico. We've been told we have 200 millimeters thick hardico. So our hardico, we need to know that our hardico does not go up to the to the outside of the wall. If you can see, article starts from here, so it's on the internal internal side of the of the plan. From this point, going to that point up like that, and on this section. Now, what we are going to do, we are going to divide. We are going to divide our our section into into two. So we are going to call this section A. And then we are also going to call this section section B. Now, for us to be able, because we need to get this measurement from this point going that way up like that. And then we are also going to get from that point coming down that way, that way, not getting to there to the to the walls to the external wall now we are going to call this section a and this section b for section a our length is going to start here so we have this 7200 plus 200 plus 5400 remember we said it's up to the inside the internal wall so that gives us 12800 and our width is from this point here up to this point here that gives us 54 5400 now we go to the section b for section b we need our length that is from this point here up to this point here that is 5400 and then for our widget it's from this point here up to this point here remember when we were taking the 5400 the but hey, we just took the 5400 up to this point, so we did not include the 200. So when we are taking the widget for point for section B, we are going to take 3000 and then we include the the 200 for us to get to this point where we where we stopped. So that is going to be that 200. And then the depth of our hardico, remember, is 200 millimeters thick hardico. So we book that one. We start with sec section A. The length is 12800. That is 12.80. The width is 5.5.4, and then the depth is 0 0.2. That is 200 millimeters. And then we go to section B. That is 4. Sorry, 5.40 for the length. The width is 3.20, and the depth is 0 0.20. And then we set 200 millimeters and pack the quarry stones laid and compacted in layers. So in these layers, you can decide. For this case, we are going to divide the 200 by 2. So that is 100, we say, compacted in two layers of 100 millimeters thick each. So that is how we take the quantities. That is how we measure the quantities. So if we want to get the volume, remember, if we want to get the volume of the hardico that you are going to need, then we take the length, the width, and the depth, and then you multiply, and then you, you write your volume here. Same as section B, the length, the width, and the depth, and then you multiply, and then you get your volume, your volume there. So guys, thank you for your time. Until next time, bye-bye.